I'm Zach. And we're Sea Campers. Well, what exactly is a Sea Camper? Not for me, but for them, our audience. Oh, good idea. A Sea Camper is someone who loves the sun, fun, and especially the sea. Twelve to seventeen with a thirst for adventure, Sea Camp is the place for you. It's located on Big Pine Key in the sunny Florida Keys on its own private peninsula. Just offshore is one of the most beautiful living coral reefs in the world. Each day we get to put on a mask and snorkel or scuba gear and dive into the kind of adventure other kids just dream of. Like collecting marine specimens, learning marine science from real scientists, helping them with research experiments, kayaking through wildlife preserves, and exploring coral caverns. We already have a creature extractor. Sounds like fun. I have an idea. Why don't you stay here and tell about it while I catch up with my scuba class? Today I'm going to Luke Key Reef to review my diving skills and explore one of the only living coral reefs in today's continental United States. So see ya. Alright, I'll see you at lunch. Well, while he heads out to the reef, let's take a walk around camp and I'll show you some of our science classes. Come on. Sea Camp is all about science and exploration. There are over 24 science classes offered each session. Courses like marine ecology, keys critters, fish biology, coral reef ecology, and exploration of the seas. Our boats are called flat tops. They're really strong and safe. We use them as our floating classrooms. You don't really have to be a certified diver to enjoy Sea Camp. Most of our science classes are snorkel based and held in shallow water. In marine communities class, we observe the behavior of different types of sea creatures. We also collect specimens in the shallow sponge beds to bring back to the surface to study. This is where our snorkeling skills come in really handy. Some of those little buggers can be pretty tricky. Other marine science courses like reef fish identification take us out to the reef at Lou Key, but it's still plenty shallow to snorkel. The water's really clear, and I really love the freedom of diving down through the schooling fish. Wow, check out these blue tang. Hey, that's a midnight parrotfish. I never knew learning could be this much fun. Speaking of learning, some of our advanced courses like coral reef ecology and advanced marine invertebrates can earn you high school credit back home. You'll learn to love and respect the sea and understand the importance of protecting it for our children and our children's children to enjoy. Alright, you guys come and watch this one away. Sea Camp is an internationally accredited training facility for NAWI, the National Association of Underwater Instructors. Scuba One is a NAWI Open Water Certification course. Before you sign up, you'll be asked to pass a scuba medical exam to make sure you're physically fit to dive. Campers should have no history of heart, lung, sinus, or ear trouble. Not only will you learn to scuba dive to NAWI's high standards... So, coming out too fast is just like a bottle of soda. If you release the pressure too fast, what happens? Like that? You'll learn how to put your new skills to use in underwater research and scientific investigation. I guess Jenny's probably wondering where I am right now. I'm here with my buddy Bevan about to do a giant stride entry in a blue key in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary to practice some advanced diving skills. Ready? Alright, let's get those masks on. Let's do a giant stride. Scuba classes give us another tool for studying the reef. Certified divers choose from a half a dozen Scuba 2 science classes, like marine invertebrates. And Melissa, tell me an example of one animal that's in the phylum bag area. Um, coral? Yeah, corals. All of the different corals, the hard corals and the soft corals that we see out here, are cnidarians. Luke is 
famous for its impressive spur and groove coral formations. They are surrounded by swarms of colorful tropical reef fish like bicolored damsels and yellow wrasses. Large fish like hermit or barracuda often swim into view and we even see the occasional turtle or nurse shark. Scuba 3 is a NAWI Master Certification course open to any certified diver 15 or older with more than 12 log dives. You do really neat stuff like underwater navigation and search and recovery techniques. There's even a special night dive held once per session. It sounds a little scary, but most divers say it's one of the most awesome parts of the session. In the safety of darkness, some really outrageous creatures come out of hiding and show their true colors. Every 20 feet or so, we're going to be doing a reef fish count. If you've taken all the other courses, Scuba 4 or Advanced Marine Investigations is a course that puts it all together. Using our skills and scientific training, we conduct a special research project in marine biology, and at the end of the session, campers get to publish their findings in the SeaCam Journal of Marine Science. This is strictly a passive victim, and we're using this backboard to pull them out of the water. Besides all the undersea adventure, Sea Camp also offers Red Cross certified lifeguarding courses, where you can learn all the latest rescue and life-saving techniques. Good. Good job. This year, I'm learning to sail. I thought it would be easy, but if you don't get the wind and the sail and the rudder just right, well, try it for yourself and you'll see what I mean. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Where's my Jimmy Buffett CD? Of course, Jenny decided to do windsurfing this session. They say it's a lot of fun and really keeps you on your toes, but I say, why stand when you can sit? Kayaking is a great way to sneak up on the wildlife without being noticed. Hey, speaking of wildlife, did you know that one of the last refuges of the endangered key deer is on Big Pine Key? I saw a mother doe and her fawn the other day in photography class, and the bird life here is really phenomenal. Come in closer, guys! Everything at Sea Camp is organized with safety as the top priority. The overall camper to staff ratio is 3 to 1, and they always seem to be one step ahead of us in preparing the boats and equipment and keeping everything in tip-top condition. Every night there's something going on. I love the dances and movies. Some nights we have guest science speakers and evening science labs like the Plankton Lab. On night waves, we walk out into the showers and collect specimens for closer study in the lab. On the last night of the session, when we get our awards, the kitchen staff pulls out all the stops and puts on a luau with all the fresh fruits, vegetables, turkey, pork, beef, ham, key lime pie, and seafood you can eat. The time really flies at Sea Camp, and before you know it, your session is up. There are three 18-day sessions during the summer, so you may want to start now talking your parents into letting you stay for more than one. Our parents like Sea Camp because it's educational, but we like Sea Camp because it's a lot of fun. Don't you agree, Zach? Yeah, but I think we should also get some other opinions. You'll see things you just see on postcards. Out here, the water is like crystal blue. It's, it's so cool out here. The snorkeling, the water, the sunset. The people. And you get to do a lot of stuff that you don't get to do back home. It's, it's interaction. You go in the water and you're up close with the fish. I've learned that you have to handle the environment with care and, and treat it with respect. It is time to weigh the anchor, pulled away from Big Pine Key. Moving out from our small harbor, heading for the open sea. We will pass familiar islands. We have no and the slowly fade behind us as we bid farewell to shore. Moving out from our small.